What's up guys, welcome to Vintage Genetics, where it is all about classic bodybuilding and today I'm going to show you what I eat. So this is the breakfast, what do we have here? As you guys all know, my famous cream of rice recipe, which I will still post in detail on my channel, of course, make a video about it. But this is cream of rice, 130 grams, 150 grams of blueberries, also with some whey paste by Jacked Factory. Very delicious, check the link down below for a discount on all of their post workout and throughout the day protein sources and on top of course we have some calabout chocolate i went from 15 grams to 25 grams to now 30 grams of dark chocolate called power 80 which means 80 percent dark chocolate anyway let's enjoy and check down the macros in the description to find out how many calories and what the macros are of every single meal of the day so this rice is golden rice over here. I put in that crock pot over there in the corner, along with my post-workout meal. So the post-workout meal rice is already done as well. Also put these chicken strips on there. So these chicken strips you can actually get at a Whole Foods kind of store. Um, it's called the Macro in the Netherlands, but in uh, America and probably Canada, you can get it at Costco's, for example. So make sure to check out stores like that for whole food and wholesale bags like this. So this bag of chicken is two and a half kilos and it's already pre-cooked. So all you have to do is warm it up and it's perfect. And when you then prepare this rice... You can also just add it to your meal along with the vegetables and you're done. This sauce on top is some zero calorie teriyaki sauce to make it more palatable, to make it more easy to eat. And there's also 20 grams of coconut uh, oil in this rice. So this pretty much is the um, John Meadows way of eating. So combining the carbs and the fats in the same meal. So the first meal had the fats by the dark chocolate, the 80% dark chocolate. And this meal has it from the coconut oil. Now, I choose coconut oil because it doesn't, for me at least, slow down the digestion that much that it interferes with the next meal. That is the only problem I have with adding meals, uh, adding fats to the meals, is it slows down digestion for a lot of people. But choose a fat source that has the least uh, effect on your digestive system like this. If you add more carbs to this meal, this is already 130 grams of rice. Make it 150 grams. Now, there is a limit to how much volume your stomach can tolerate. And once that volume is reached, you will simply add low volume foods like fats and oils, which you can properly digest. Anyway, let's enjoy this meal and show you the next one. Okay guys, we just arrived at the gym and I just took my pre-workout because I'm showing you everything I eat, everything I put in my mouth. And that includes the pre-workout and the intro workout, but I won't be long about that. Intro workout, Nitro Surge, look at this, it's green, just like this vintage Nugget like Stringer, but hey, 25% off all green items every green labeled item at jack factory 25 percent off check the link down below to use my personal link to get that automatic discount and now this is very cheap and incredibly incredibly delicious anyway let's start to train the chest okay guys in this video i will show you the chest exercises i did today it's, it won't be a full workout video of course because this is a full day of eating but just to get the gist of this workout as most people like to see this the chest workout starting out with the chest press i'm doing four working sets for my compounds today which means that there's more volume per exercise and that's why i remove one exercise so for example if i would do three presses and a fly now i do two presses and a fly but each press 
has more working sets than usual. So this is working set number one. In between the 10 to 12 rep range, so I hit 12 reps on this one, which is a new PR, so the strength on the chest days is going up nicely, which is an objective measurement to see if you are progressing as a bodybuilder. It's hard to see muscle gain from week to week or even month to month, but strength gains are, you know, you can monitor them so you can literally see objectively if you are making progress. And this is working set number four. And as you can see, <laughs> it's almost the same amount of reps as the first working set with a much heavier weight. And that's why, you know, the reason behind that is the amount of volume takes away a lot of energy from your muscles, which, you know, ultimately uh, leads to you being able to do less weight with less reps at the end of that exercise. And that you will have to build up over time as well. So even if the first three sets, you're at the exact same strength, but the fourth set you improve upon with one rep, that also is progress, guys. So that's why logging every single set is very important. And here we have the incline bench press on the Smith machine, working set number one. This is at 45 degrees. So I have a few chest workout rotations, three different ones. And pretty much each chest rotation has a different angled incline bench press because I think the incline bench press feels incredible for the stretch, for the pump, it just feels great, get a good mind-muscle connection with the chest there and changing up the angles also changes up uh, the way you hit the muscle. That is what bodybuilding is all about, hitting the muscle from as many different angles as you can with effective exercise. Of course, you have to have a connection with them. So for people who do this movement, the 45 degree incline bench press and they think well i feel it way more in the front delts not really in the chest with 15 degrees or 30 degrees you feel it a lot more stick to those don't stick to movements just because other people are doing them guys stick to your own personal movement so what you want to do here is grab on the bar um, with uh, a width that your wrist stays stacked upon your hand, basically your forearm. And that way you know that the width is correct for you. And you also wanna go all the way down until you feel a very good stretch in the chest, which will cause most of the muscle growth. And this last chest movement is actually a chest fly. So normally I would do a standing cable fly, for example, which is the standard one that we all know, but you can also do an incline cable fly. And once again, you can choose between the steepness of the incline. So this is a 15 degree steepness or a 15 degree angle, but you can go all the way until 45 degrees. And depending on how it feels for you, that is the angle you should go with the most often. Everybody is different. Everybody's anatomy, makeup of their bodies is different. So choose the angle for you. How do you choose this? Well, if you feel the most pump, the most mind muscle connection in the chest, the muscle that you're working, then yeah, is the correct angle. So here I'm doing one rest pause, but as you can see, I only was able to do two reps until complete failure there. Then after finishing the chest movements, we are moving to the side dumbbell lateral raise. Simply my favorite movement to building the side delts. It literally has been the only side delt movement I've been doing for many months now. I will be slowly adding incline side level raises as well with a lighter dumbbell to further uh, put some volume on those side delts because they can never be big enough and ending the set with some alternating reps until failure for maximum muscle stimulus. We are back home guys, back in the house, got a nice chest pump, was a nice workout. Also did some triceps, some push downs and some uh, incline skull crushers with the dumbbells. Didn't show you because this video is a full day of eating, it's about what I'm eating. So post rocket meal, let me show you. And kaboom, what do we have here? Again the chicken strips, again the rice. Again, the carrots, and there's a tiny bit of um, coconut oil in here, but we have 180 grams 
of uncooked rice transformed into a lot more cooked rice, like almost 600, I think, like 550. 200 grams of cooked chicken, like 100 grams of carrots, and yeah, quite a lot of salt, and we will enjoy this one. And of course, a video is not complete without little Dexter. He's completely in golden, as you can see. Next up. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> Alrighty guys, time for the next meal. Now one of the meals on some of the days of the week are a bit more free, not macro free, but ingredient free. Let me show you what I mean. So, the vegetables, quite normal, we have bell pepper, we have some tomato, we have some onion, which we are going to cut up and put in the pan, but this is pretty much going to be the carb source, so this is actually pasta, pasta filled with a little bit of mushroom actually, so this is quite delicious, but if you look at the back, we're going to look at the macros, come on, you can do it. You can see that it contains 36 grams per 100 grams of carbs and about 4 grams per 100 grams of fat. So we're not going to be adding any fat to this meal and the carbs are, you know, quite decent because this is 250 grams. Then we are at about, you know, uh, 80, 90 grams of carbs, which is a good amount. But I will macro match this meal to one of my regular rice meals. But right in here this is actually a steam oven and in here we are steaming some chicken some cooked chicken that you saw before the strips but these are actually whole chicken breasts in the same style already cooked preparing them but anyway let me just show you the end result now you gotta be honest that looks pretty good right the colors the vegetables the health benefits the phytonutrients they taste amazing, flavonoids stand for flavor, each different flavor represents a different flavonoid which is a different phytonutrient for health. And if you understand all this, you will be more motivated to eat more healthily. And this is the pasta, so this will be combined with this and yes, they will be incredible. Look at this guys, doesn't this look good? The better the color the better it looks, the more your appetite is stimulated and the easier it will be to eat all your meals. Here we have 200 grams of chicken, about 100 grams of cooked chicken breast each, so that's almost 50 grams of protein right there. And we have here the pasta with some of the vegetables, the peppers, the onions, the tomato. So yeah, let's enjoy this one. So every single day I do want to have the same amount of calories and macros. So usually the last meal of the day gets adjusted depending on if I make it to six or five meals. Why is there a difference? Well, every single day is different. Some days are more busy than others. I have a son. Um, I have a pregnant girlfriend. I like to call her a pregnant wife because, you know, feels more mature <laughs> because it's our second child now. And I uh, have my own business, etc., etc. So life is there life happens and you have a lot of things to take care of so yes i do prep my meals as much as possible but i make a lot of meals fresh as well so when i can eat five meals at least i'm still very happy as long as i hit the macros the difference between five and six meals in how effective it is in muscle growth is truly a minimal difference so i'm making this video to show you guys that it is very important to stay consistent in the off season, but at the same time, you can find different ways to get to the same goal. So as long as it's your lifestyle, you want to make it possible to adhere to the diet. And this is one of those ways. So here we basically have the last meal. This is quark, which is a Dutch term for basically a smooth cottage cheese, which means a lot of 
dairy, a pre dairy product with a lot of protein basically. So there's 500 grams in here, about 50 grams of, no, 55 grams of protein. We have 100 grams of healthy granola. So what does that, what does that mean? It's basically in here. And what is, it, what is in there? It's um, you know, carb and a fat source. Carb source comes from baked oats. The fat source comes from dark chocolate, 70 to 80% dark chocolate, some nuts in between there as well. So only natural food sources made into a crunchy granola to make it delicious. And that is pretty much all that is in here. And we also have a little kiwi, of course, to go with it. You know, normally I would put in some other fruits in here, depending on what the fruits we have. But right now we only have frozen strawberries and, uh, and the blueberries I showed you. And from day to day that will change as well. But I at least like to have two to three different fruit sources each and every day. So the kiwi gets in there. You know, uh, usually the post workout meal is a cream of rice with strawberries. And then we have the kiwi uh, itself. So blueberries, strawberries, kiwi, banana even post-workout. So the fruits get in, different kinds of vegetables get in, and that way you get enough micronutrients. Alrighty guys, so that was the full day of eating. A lot more videos like this are coming to show you the life of a classic physique bodybuilder in the off season, going for the Mr. Olympia. And yes, I will be doing a qualification show this year, of course. But maybe more. We will see. Because I'm very excited to do some more shows. But anyway, let's talk about that in another video. Thanks a lot for watching. Link down below for discount codes for my clothing, vintage genetics, or the Jax Factory supplements, and more of things that I truly stand behind. Anyway, once again, thanks for watching, and don't forget to stay go.